To get the most out of Lightroom 4's soft proofing capabilities, it's best to use a custom profile. And let me show you how to do that in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and select soft proofing in the develop module by hitting the S key. You can also select it down here in the toolbar, but using the S key works. Now you can see I have a proof preview sign up here telling me I'm in that proof mode. Um, you see that the gray background went to a white background. I can always change that here by right clicking on the background and I simulate different uh, percentages of white, which is, again, we're trying to simulate how a particular image might look on a, uh, on a print. So that's nice to be able to change that uh, background color. Now you see here where it says create proof copy. This will create a virtual copy and it stores it along with your original image and it gives it a different um, file name that is descriptive. It tells you what profile is associated with that virtual copy. And the logic of this is that you may have your original image and then want to make derivatives or variations with different paper, different printers. Uh, so if you have the virtual copy associated with that printer or paper, you won't have to uh, worry about messing up the original image. Because each time you choose a different paper or a different printer, you may do some different adjustments to the image just so it looks right on that uh, particular uh, device. So you create a, a proof copy, just select that, and you can see down here now that the proof copy has been selected and renamed with the sRGB color space at the end. Now I'm going to be changing that, so that won't be the final profile. Because I want to show you now how you can work with a custom profile. The sRGB and the Adobe RGB, these are just standard profiles. The sRGB being a smaller color space, the Adobe RGB being a wider color space, and really depends on where you're sending your your image, whether or not they'll be clipping in one space or another. But more likely, you'll be working with sRGB going to, a, let's say, a desktop printer. And you can see this, this whole area here in the, in the middle of this raspberry is just not going to translate very well. However, in the Adobe RGB space, which is wider, it would be fine. OK, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about custom profiles. So I'm going to go ahead and select Other now. and the printers and paper you see here are loaded on this particular computer. What you see in your computer and in your display window is going to be different depending on what you have loaded. So I'm going to select OK now. It was very important, by the way, that I select those boxes. Otherwise, they wouldn't show up here under the profile. So now they're all there. And I want you to see really how amazing Lightroom 4's soft proofing capabilities are it's going to simulate the paper and the ink. So you see that that white background, because we're now going on a matte versus the glossy, even the background changed. The whole look is going to change. And if you had a paper that, say, was even you know, more matte, this uh, background would go darker. It's amazing how it simulates the look of a particular print. I'm going to go back up to the matte. But as you can see, this is a classic problem when you print to matte paper, it definitely goes, it's duller. So I may want to do some corrections to bring up the contrast a little bit, uh, maybe lighten it up a little bit so it prints closer to what I want it to look like. I'm going to save a lot of money in paper and ink just by using soft proofing in Lightroom 4. So you can cycle on through here, you can see the differences. Usually when you get into the uh, glossy papers, you're, you're going to run into problem more problem with the uh, color gamut. It's not going to hold as well. This is not a good, <laughs> this is, maybe you can see it better if I turn off the color warning. There you can see now that that's just not going to hold. So I would need to go through and either desaturate that red a little bit, or I could even change the hue slightly, just so it would print closer to what I see on the screen. See, it's all about expectations. You want, you want to see something on the screen and kind of get that when you print. So this is what the soft proofing will allow you to do. And obviously, when you have a very specific profile to a 
particular printer to a particular paper and ink, you're going to get closer and closer and closer. So, you know, it's just, I can't say enough about uh, soft proofing capabilities in Lightroom 4. It's great to have this capability now. And I think you'll find it'll save you a lot of time and money when you go to print.